Yo guys, before I start the video out, I just want to tell you guys that I am not responsible for any damages done to your computer. As I'm not, I'm not a specialist. You can go into the XOS Discord and find shit there yourself. But otherwise, enjoy the video. Yo guys, three blocks here. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download XOS. I know you guys have been waiting for this video. But uh, basically, you're going to join the XOS Discord. This is a highly stripped and tweaked ISO. Like, if you're installing this, you're basically saying no to every, like, security Windows offers. I'm gonna make another video about a light strip, but still tweaked OS um, Atlas after this. So, if you wanna do that, just wait for it. So, you're gonna press any of these download links. If one doesn't work, you're just gonna press the other. You're gonna press download, and you're just gonna wait for this shit to uh, download. While it's downloading, you're gonna need a USB in Rufus. So, uh, you're gonna go on Rufus.ie. And you're gonna download Rufus. And you're just gonna open it. These are everything that is unsupported. It's in Windows 11 unsupported in the Discord right here. So make sure you read through this, bro. Like, make sure you read through everything. And as you can see right here, it says that always have a backup USB with stock Windows ISO image on it. I don't have one. I don't use one because I have never had any problems. But just make sure you do. All right, so when you download the ISO and you have Rufus open, you're gonna select your USB and device, select. You're gonna select the ISO you just downloaded. So you're gonna double click it. You're gonna wait for it to scan the image. When it's done scanning the image, you're gonna press, like make sure this is all you have. Like everything should be like this, press start. So right here, you have require, remove the requirements and press like both of these basically and press okay. And press okay again, and press okay again press ok again and you're just gonna wait for it to do this now it's gonna burn the iso to the usb all right so once it's done you're just gonna restart your pc boot up into bios and boot on your usb if you don't know how to do that it's in my last tutorial so go check that out but uh yeah or just google like your uh, motherboard game and how to boot up on a usb all right as you can see i'm using a virtual virtual machine but uh you're gonna do the same thing so Language to install English, time and currency format, you can change this, or keyboard, I mean, I'm gonna use English keyboard, so it's gonna be on US. Then, if you're gonna, if you have one here, to delete your ISO, you just click it, press delete, confirm, and then you're just gonna have an allocated space, you're gonna press next, and you're gonna wait. All right, so once it boots up, you're gonna choose your region. I mean, I'm just gonna go with United States. Then, right here, you just choose your keyboard language, I'm using the US keyboard. If you want the second one, you can press add layout. After that, you just wait. So I'm just, I usually write L as my name. I don't want no password, so I'm just gonna press next. And then you're just gonna wait for it to install again. All right, so once it boots up, it's gonna tell you that it's just gonna restart. So you're just gonna wait for this to happen. It's just optimizing your, and deploading your PC. I'm not deploading, sorry, deploading, but just let it do its thing. All right, so then when this happens, it's done installing. If you scroll down, you'll see everything that's uh, stripped off and these are the things that you can enable but it's disabled right now so what you're going to do is if you want to support i'm ribby the creator of this iso you can open this and you you can buy uh overclocking and like custom tweaking localization this is where you can change your language uh, it's, I'm, I'm pretty sure this does not work yeah so this does not work but this is what you use to uh sync your time date uh but then browser installation, you can choose any browser you like. I personally like Brave, so I'm gonna install Brave here. You just gonna wait. And actually, while this is running, you can just go in the background, set up GPU drivers. If you have AMD, do AMD. You can uh, use, get modern drivers on this link right here. If you don't want them, you don't have to do it. But then Nvidia. So, there you go. separate the default, skip, maybe later. So basically after this is done, if you want to like watch the tutorial and how to do it, you can watch this. Otherwise open NVIDIA clean install. I don't know if my GPU works when I'm using a virtual box, but uh, yeah, it does not. But you're going to choose this, you're going to press next, and then you're like, I'm going to show a screenshot of what you should use basically when you press next. After that, you're going to go into set up other drivers and then after you install your network driver, which mine is installed, you're gonna run this. Gonna wait for it. Press NDP to continue. That's it. Uh, what does this even say? Oh, 
do is just the terms of service. So if you if you need uh, if you need some drivers, you're gonna install STI Origin. Then configure services. If you want to disable anything or enable anything, you use this. If you want to enable Windows default services, you open this right here. It's a rigid edit, and you restart. Um, troubleshooting. If something does not work, you just go to this folder. Um, tuning. This is like tweaking tools right here. So MSI mode. Let's open MSI mode. Um, you're gonna have your GPU and your internet drivers here right now. I don't, but I think this is the internet driver here so I'm gonna enable MSI and press apply uh, interrupt affinity you can do an MSI go interrupt policy I don't really fucking know how this works but uh yeah so custom resolution utility you really don't have to do this unless it's like really advanced you're gonna open the device cleanup tool you're gonna press uh, the devices select all and remove selected this is just gonna disable uh, or delete drivers that you're not using and that's basically it right here once again if you want to change your resolution or your uh, refresh rate you're going to here proper yeah here list all modes then you can choose here i don't have a gpu on this virtual box so i can't really do that but that's basically how you install xos or any other windows 11 iso um yeah if you guys want another video on how to install like playbook isos like atlas please let me know and i'll make one but uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video peace out